All right, so throughout this course, uh, we're going to be looking at a lot of the different features of ES6 or ES2015. And I'm just going to use the latest version of Chrome because most of the features are implemented uh, in Chrome. But if you're going to build a production application, at this time I would suggest using some kind of compiler or transpiler. And um, what that does is it'll take your ES6 code and then compile it into uh, ES5 so that people, you know, users with just about any browser will be able to use your application without issues. So what I'm going to do first before we get into the syntax and all that, I'm going to show you how to set up a project and use Babel. Okay, Babel is a JavaScript compiler. And if we go to the Babel website and then go to try it out, there's actually, actually let me get rid of this. There's a, an editor here where you can type, you can you can put in ES6 code and it'll compile it to ES5 and show you over this side. So what we'll do is let's use let because that's not available in ES5. And we're going to say let and create a variable called test and we'll set it to hello. All right, now on this side you can see that it's using var because this is ES5 and let isn't available. We're also setting it into strict mode, okay, which you'll see a lot of when you're using transpilers. All right, so let's do something a little more complicated. Let's create a class. So we'll say class user. And on this side, you can see that uh, this is a lot more complicated. We're using this class call check method. We're passing in an instance and a constructor uh, and so on. Now, if we add a function, let's say test. Okay, so this is now a method of the user class, and you can see over here it added a bunch more code as well, much, much more complicated than what we have here. All right, so that's what Babel does. Now, before we go on with, with that, I just want to take a look at the compatibility chart at the Kangax uh, web page. So on this side, on the left, you can see all the different features of ES6 or ES2015. And up here, you can see the different browsers. Okay, so if you look at IE11, it's red down the whole column. Okay, so it's only 15% compatible with ES6. All right, so this is the, these are the reasons you might want to use something like Babel. If we look over here at the latest versions of Firefox and Chrome, we're up to 93% and then 98% for Chrome 52. All right, you can see it's all green. So uh, when you're doing your testing or your development, uh, I think it's fine to use something just like the latest version of Chrome. All right, now if you're a production, then you'd probably want to use something like Babel. And you can see over here, we have about 74% compatibility. Okay, so most of the features are implemented and uh, can be used with Babel. All right, so before we get started and show you how to set up Babel, you're going to need Node.js installed. Uh, just go to nodejs.org, download it, install it. I do have a video on how to install it in Windows as well as Linux. I'm also going to be using uh, a tool called Git Bash for Windows, which is just a command line tool with some extra bells and whistles. Uh, if you want that, you can go to git-scm.com and go ahead and download that. But of course, you could use your Windows command line or your terminal for Linux or Mac or whatever it is that you use. All right, so let's go back to the Babel website, and I'm going to go to Setup. And you can see there's a lot of different tools that you can use to implement Babel. All right, we're going to click on this CLI right here, the Command Line Interface tool. And it has some steps for us, but uh, it does leave a couple things out. So what I'm going to do is just uh, go through this and show you how to get this set up. So first thing I'm going to do is go into my C drive, and then I have a folder called Projects. I'm going to create a folder there called ES6. And I'm going to open my command line tool up here. If you installed git bash, you should have this, this option here to just open it right inside that folder. All right. And of course, you can use your standard Windows command line if you want. Now, what we're going to do is we need to create a package.json file, which is a, a manifest file. If you've had any experience with Node.js, you probably know what that is. Now, we could create it manually, but we can also create it by saying npm init. 
All right, and that's just going to ask us some questions, the, the application name, the version. I'm just going to click enter through the whole thing. All right, so that should have created that file for us. Now I'm going to open up my text editor. I'm using Atom, which is really nice. Uh, I used Sublime Text for a long time. I just recently started using Atom because it has a really nice TypeScript plugin, which I was using with Angular 2. And I don't know, it's just uh, I really like it. It's really simple, but it also has a lot of nice features. So I'm going to open up, I'm going to add a project folder, add ES6, and you can see we have the package.json file, all right, which has all the stuff that we just added. So we want to install a couple things for dependencies. Okay, one, we want Babel CLI, and we also want the Babel preset for ES2015. All right, so what we can do is go to our command line and let's say npm oh actually I gotta get out of that first so npm install babel cli and also babel preset 2015 all right and then I'm also gonna add in the end here save dev and that will add it to our package.json file as um, development dependencies. All right, so let's go ahead and run that. Uh, what's this? What did I do wrong? Oh, I pushed put 2015. It's ES 2015. All right, so that should be good. Let's take a look. Okay, so now we have, if we reload the package.json file, you can see in dev dependencies, we have both of those, uh, both modules. Okay, so the next thing we want to do is we want to create, um, where is it? We want to create this file here, .babelrc, and that's where we can specify the preset. Okay, so let's go, let's say new file, and we're going to call this dot babel rc all right and in there we're going to just um actually yeah i'll just do this we're just going to uh, open some curly braces and say presets okay that'll be an array and all we need in here is es 2015 okay we'll save that close it up And what we're going to do is create a folder called SRC or source. And in there we're going to create, oops, I'm going to create a new file called main.js. All right, this is the source file. This is where we can write our um, ES6 code. All right, so what we want to do is create another folder. And that's, we can call this dist, or you can call it whatever you'd like, but I'm going to call it dist. And this is where the, the actual application will be, um, along with the, the compiled ES5 code. All right, so once we write our ES6 and we want it to get compiled, we need a, a way to do that. So I'm going to go to package.json, and we're going to add to our scripts here. We can actually get rid of this. Okay, so scripts, and we're going to say build, say Babel, uh, SRC, add a D flag, and then the, the folder that we want this to be compiled to, which in our case is dist. Okay, now I'm going to add another scripts here, and this one will be for to run the preset. All right, so... Again, we're going to say build. That's going to be the command that will run. And then it's going to run um, Babel, say presets, ES2015, source, D, and then the folder we want to compile to, compile to which is dist. All right, so let's save that. And now we'll go to our main.js that's in the source file. And let's just put some ES6 in here. We'll just create a variable called test. 
and we'll set that to hello. Okay, so let's save that. And now we're going to go back to our command line. And all we have to do to compile now is run npm uh, run build. Okay, and you can see here what it did is took that main.js in the source folder, compiled it into main.js in the dist folder. So let's take a look at that. And there it is. We have our ES5 version of our code. All right, so let's go back and create a class. Okay, so this is strictly ES6 code. Uh, we'll create a class called user. And let's say we want a method called register. And we'll just echo, not echo, <laughs> this isn't PHP. We'll console.log. user registered okay save that let's go ahead and run npm run build take a look at the compiled file and there we go so we now have our es5 code so that's how you can write es6 and compile into es5 using babel